Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Imani Larusa, and I'm gonna teach you how to make this. And we're only gonna be using basic 3D tools in After Effects, so let's go. So I'm gonna be using the programs Adobe After Effects and Photoshop. So I grabbed a few images of some mountains and I'm just gonna bring them into Photoshop and just cut out the sky. So for this effect, you're gonna need multiple images of mountains. So you're gonna need a background, a foreground, and a midground? So right here, I'm just gonna use a quick selection tool and just grab this little bit of mountains and grab this little bit of trees and then cut all of it out. So then I have all my mountains cut out. I could bring it into After Effects. First things first, create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second in about 10 seconds. So the layers that you're gonna need are three images of mountains cut out, a sky, clouds, and your logo. And this is where the magic happens. Okay, first make everything 3D. So click on the 3D box and just slide up on all your layers. So you're gonna notice that it doesn't really look 3D and it's because they're on the same dimension plane. So before we move anything, let's create a camera. Keep all the settings exactly the same. Default, good to go. So we're gonna set a keyframe right where we are and then we're gonna move forward a few frames and just move into Z space. It's a third number on the position in your camera. Next, we're gonna go into our camera view so that we could see the 3D layers on the different planes. So just like in real life or IRL, the sky is super far away. So I'm gonna use my same real life knowledge and also move the sky far away to make this more realistic. So I'm gonna grab my sky and move it all the way back in my Z axis. And then I'm just gonna scale it up. Next are my mountains and I'm gonna move them a little farther into space, but in front of the sky. I'm just gonna move it over just like the original. Scale it up. I'm actually just gonna use this image twice. Duplicate, move it over. Since they have sharp edges, I'm just gonna move one of the mountains back and the other one has sharp edges. Okay, so I'm just going to mask the side of it out. So I'm just gonna cut it out using the pen tool and then hitting subtract on my mask path. So now the mountains look like they are next to each other and not on top of each other. Next, I'm gonna move the trees, turn my clouds on. They have a black background, so I'm just gonna cut them out individually and then add a screen blending mode on. And boom, it's gone. Next, I'm just gonna spread the clouds out within the Z axis and just move them around. Okay, cool. This is basically the effect. I'm just gonna add a logo and a little bit of more detail onto this. Select your keyframes, go to keyframe assist, go to easy ease, add a little pizzazz on keyframes. Bring in your logo. Mine has a white background. I obviously don't want that. So I'm gonna go to Luma key and key it out. Also, if it seems a little pixelated, remember that you might be in a lower resolution. So make sure it's in full to see its true potential. And because my logo in the original one is white, I'm just gonna go over to effects and presets and put a fill over it. It's basically a color overlay. Make sure it's in 3D. And I'm just gonna bring it forward a little just so it has a little bit of different movement than all the other layers. And boom, you're done. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, follow me on the social medias, and yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much.